Class A Geothermal Planet Class A planets are small, barren worlds with constant volcanic activity. This activity traps carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and maintains extremely high temperatures regardless of its location in a star system. When the volcanic activity ceases, the planet dies. From this point it is considered to be a Class C planet once the temperature reduces after a long period of time. Class B, Geomorteus Planet Class B planets are generally small and categorized as a planetoid. Its surface is molten and highly unstable caused by its location in a star system's hottest zone. It is highly unsuitable for humanoid life and has a thin atmosphere composed primarily of helium and sodium. Temperatures range from 450 degrees in midday to minus 200 degrees at night. No life forms have ever been observed on this class of planet. Class C Geoinactive Planet When volcanic activity on a Class A planet ceases, it is considered a Class C. Essentially dead, these small worlds have cold, barren surfaces and possess no geological activity and have no known useful element deposits. Class D. Dwarf. Also known as Plutonian objects, these tiny worlds are composed primarily of ice and not considered true planets. Many moons and asteroids are considered Class D as are larger objects in a star system's outer gravitational belt. Most are not suitable for human life, though many can be colonized via pressure domes. Class E. Geoplar stick. Class E planets represent the earliest stage in the evolution of a habitable planet. The core and crust is completely molten, making the planets susceptible to solar wind, radiation and subject to extremely high surface temperatures. The atmosphere is very thin, composed of hydrogen and helium. As the surface cools, the core and crust begin to harden and the planet evolves into a Class F world. Class F Geometallic a glassy planet makes the transition to glass F once the crust and core have begun to harden. Volcanic activity is also commonplace on class F worlds. The steam expelled from volcanic eruptions eventually condenses into water, giving rise to shallow seas in which simple bacteria thrive. When the planet's core is sufficiently cool, the volcanic activity ceases and the planet is considered class G. Class G. Geocrystalline. Once the core of a Class F planet is sufficiently cool, volcanic activity lessens and the planet is considered Class G. Oxygen and nitrogen are present in some levels in the atmosphere, giving rise to increasingly complex organisms such as primitive vegetation, like algae, and animals similar to sponges and jellyfish. A Glass G planet is often a turning point as the planet can evolve and change into a large selection of other different forms ranging from Glass H to Glass P depending on various orbital and solar activity. Glass H Desert A planet is considered Glass H if less than 20% of its surface is water. Though many Glass H worlds are covered in sand, it is not required to be considered a desert. It must, however, receive little in the way of precipitation. Drought-resistant plants and animals are common on Glass H worlds and many are inhabited by humanoid populations. Most Glass H worlds are hot and arid, but conditions can vary greatly.